Anna Maria de Freitas tends to the garden outside her Friday Harbor Inn. Tourist season is coming, akin to Christmas time for retailers, but this year is very different. We're all planning now for what that new normal is going to look like. We're not really sure how we're going to adjust. De Freitas runs two inns and a restaurant on heavily tourist dependent San Juan Island. Since coronavirus hit, she's already lost $300,000 in reservations. And now San Juan County is telling tourists to stay away until the governor's stay at home order is lifted. When that will be is anybody's guess. We supported what they did for the health of our community. But as a business owner, it was kind of a hard pill to swallow. The San Juans truly are islands unto themselves. They're uniquely vulnerable to an outbreak of disease. Their only hospital has just 10 beds, three ventilators, and no ICU. The county council is hoping to keep tourists away by closing campgrounds. You can't even tie your boat up at Friday Harbor's marina because it's deemed non-essential travel. It's really hard because I want my all the businesses here in town to do really well, and I see they're all suffering. San Juan Island Chamber of Commerce Executive Director Becky Day acknowledges cutting off the island's lifeblood for the foreseeable future is risky, but it's a risk they have to take. By following all these guidelines right now, we're doing our best to flatten the curve, and at least we possibly will be able to have a good July and August to salvage what we can for our season. What happens if this does drag on into July and August? Oh, I hope not. <laughs> if this does drag on that long, is there a real chance that some of these businesses don't never come back? There is a chance, yes. For now, Anna Maria de Freitas simply hopes there will be guests to eat from her garden when the harvest comes in a couple of months. On San Juan Island, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.